Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience. Today we're working on a quick short video uh, of setting up CentOS or getting networking working on CentOS 7 within VMware. Now this video is actually going to be embedded into my article here on my webpage achubbard.com. Uh, a while back I had done a, if I can find it here, give me a second, it's an older artist, one of the probably the first articles that I had written um, is CentOS uh, 7, minimal installation on Hyper-V. I'm not running Hyper-V. What I want, what we're going over in this video is specifically one portion here, um, and that is to get networking working in CentOS. This does not matter if you're doing it on Hyper-V or VMware. Um, this process right here, gaining network access, uh, is the same across the board, whether you're running Hyper-V or VMware. So this is specifically what this video is going to uh, be about. We'll you know, throw it in here. Um, so let me get this set up. And when we get to the networking part, we will pick back up. All right, CentOS is now installed. We are at the login screen, so we'll log in. And if you issue the command IP ADDR, you're gonna see that it only has uh, this 127.0.0.1 uh, IP, which is the loopback address. So what we need to do is follow the steps in this article here, which I'm gonna pull off screen so I can look at and show you guys at the same time. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to type vi space forward slash etc slash sysconfig and you can hit the tab key. That's a trick to, you know, so if you type, if you type, so where it says sysconfig here, right? So if I type in sy and hit the tab key, you know, there's probably other sys system folders in there. Um, so if we did sysc, and hit the tab key. There we go. S Y S C O. Um, hitting the tab key sometimes will, will is a little faster than typing it all out. Um, we have to do network scripts. There we go. And we have to do IF. Or in this case, what is it? Uh, ENS. Hold on here. I'm trying to type and. IF CFG dash ENS, there we go, 192. So we'll hit enter. We'll arrow down here. You wanna see where it says on boot and we are going to hit the I key and the delete key and clear that out. We'll change this to yes. We'll hit the escape key. We'll hit the shift and the colon key and we'll do right quit enter now now you've told it to dhcp on boot now we need to restart the network services so we'll type in system ctl restart network and it might hang here for a second there we go now if you type in ip addr you can see that it's got this 192 address which is the uh address of my uh or it's a subnet of my lab network um, and we can test that this works by pinging uh, 192, 168, 25.1. Oops, helps if you type the IP address in without five octets. There we go. So we can ping something internally. Let's ping 8.8.8.8. There we go. So now it's going on our firewall and this VM can go on the internet now. So guys, that is how you set up CentOS uh, on a VM. It doesn't matter if it's Hyper-V or, or VMware ESXi. Um, this is how I was taught how to do it. There may be other ways to do it. Um, not exactly sure what the reasoning behind uh, why you have to go turn that on, why that just doesn't work out of the box. Um, but that's, again, that's how I was taught. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Um, you can leave a comment below if you want. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for the next video, guys. You can also follow along. Uh, I have a little blog site that I've been working on, achubbard.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I have some write-ups and things over there that I've been working on as well.